hello guys hello let's try to analyze this pathograph this is um a pathograph showing prolonged active phase of labor prolonged active phase of labor so it's not always that your pathograph will come out clean as i showed you in the previous video sometimes uh, labor may be complicated but how would you know since the pathograph is a tool that we use to detect any uh, danger signs during the labor process or during delivery uh, what are some of the types of uh, dangerous signs that you will see when you are filling in your pathograph okay so let's analyze this pathograph um we have seen that the pathograph was opened at 10 a.m and uh, the woman was four centimeters dilated she was in active stage of labor she just entered active stage of labor then uh, at the same time the fetal descent the the descent of the fetal head was at five over five so it's recorded here five over five then um four hours later sorry the contractions were two contractions and they were mild contractions at this time then every 30 minutes they started doing they were still doing the contractions they were still assessing contractions and they were still mild mild then after some time this is about one two three hours later the contractions dropped from two to one contraction to one contraction one mild contraction okay then four hours later um vaginal examination was done and the cervical dilation was at four centimeters there was no change okay there was no change it was constant fetal descent was still at five and five over five as well then fetal heart rate at the beginning was at 140 yes 140 then it remained constant for an hour then it's dropped constant just like that so the fetal heart rate is within normal ranges according from uh this time up to here okay actually up to somewhere here then um eight hours later vaginal examination was done and cervical dilation went up to six centimeters okay went up to six centimeters and fetal descent was still at five it was still five over five all right then um this is eight hours later 12 hours later uh, vaginal examination was done again um contraction sorry fetal descent was went to three this is three went to three fetal descent went to three and cervical dilation went to uh, still remained at six centimeters okay three over five descent and six centimeters cervical dilation okay so this woman since this was a uh, um, prolonged active phase of labor it was prolonged and it was actually way beyond the action line delivery was initiated so the uh, delivery was performed through caesarean section at 21:30, okay at 21:20, and a live female was born female infant weight 2.65 kilograms okay so this is a prolonged active phase of labor because the woman was in active phase is also prolonged latent phase of labor when the woman is not yet in active phase is not yet four centimeters di dilated that 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 will be called prolonged latent phase of labor 
but this one is prolonged active phase of labor because the woman is in active stage of labor. Now, if we look at the contractions, contractions were all mound and just two contractions. In the end, they increased to three mild contractions, but still these are not strong enough to push the baby out. Okay, so this is what is written on this. Actually, obviously, what prompted, um, what what prompted or what made uh, us to perform a cesarean section, obviously, or to refer the client for a caesar, was because of the fetal heart rate that was dropping. Okay, you see, the fetal heart rate went below hundred beats per minute. This is a danger sign. Okay. So this is very dangerous. We just had to um, make sure that eh, the child is born. Look at the amniotic fluid here. The were membranes were intact, intact. They ruptured. Then they were clear, clear. Uh, in the end, the were meconium stained. The fetal heart rate began to drop, meaning the fetus was in distress. Any delay, we were going to lose this child. So, cesarean section was performed. Okay, so this is what happens. I'll show you another pathograph uh, for a complicated birth as well, so that you know what type of pathographs you may have or how you may identify danger using a pathograph. Thank you so much for listening.